Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 best cities to live in the United States in 2024. The United States has some of the best cities in the world in terms of quality of life. In the past years, crime rates and real estate costs have been on the rise everywhere in the US. Lots of families are looking for a place that is safe and affordable to move to, making the bigger cities less attractive to many. Are you thinking about making a big move? or just curious about where to travel next for a slice of life elsewhere? You've come to the right place. If you're wondering where are the best cities to live in the US for families and more, we can tell you thanks to the US News Best Cities to Live Index. This list offers insights into the best cities to live in the US in 2024. To determine the finest places to reside, US. News conducted a comprehensive analysis of the 150 most populous metropolitan areas. The selection criteria included factors such as affordability, desirability as a residential location, robust employment opportunities, and an exceptional quality of life. Only those locations that excelled in all these aspects secured a spot at the pinnacle of the list. Want to find out why these places are considered among the best cities to call home in America? Then watch this video till the end to discover the top 10 best cities to live in the US. You might just like them so much you decide to move there for good. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 best cities to live in the United States in 2024. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 best cities to live in the United States in 2024. Number 10. Fayetteville, Arkansas. Located in a region experiencing drastic growth, Fayetteville, together with Bentonville, Rogers, and Springdale, has transformed from a small town to a center of higher education, culture, commerce, and entrepreneurialism. The area known as Northwest Arkansas is the birthplace of Walmart, the headquarters of Tyson Foods, and the home of the University of Arkansas, the flagship campus of the U of a system. People from all over the world call Fayetteville home. Newcomers often comment on the friendliness of Fayetteville residents. People wave and smile at each other in the street, and community events are well attended. With dozens of volunteer organizations and nonprofits, there's an abundance of ways to get involved in the community. Nestled in the Ozark Mountains, Fayetteville attracts outdoorsy types with its abundance of state parks, acres of community green space, playgrounds, parks, and walking trails. The metro area also boasts a first-class performing arts center, an active local food movement, live music venues, and a dynamic festival scene. What's the cost of living in Fayetteville, Arkansas? Drawn to jobs at Tyson, Walmart and Walmart's vendor community, newcomers have flooded the area over the past several years, pushing housing prices up and enticing real estate developers to build. While real estate in Fayetteville is some of the most expensive in Arkansas, Fayetteville's median home sale price is lower than in other real estate markets in the U.S. Number 9. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Pikes Peak, inspiration for the song America the Beautiful, is the backdrop for Colorado Springs. Here, you'll find a city that blends colorful nature with rugged history and metropolitan spoils. Its parts are distinctive, the booming suburbs in the north and east, the bustling yet easily navigated downtown, the elegant, rustic south side defined by Cheyenne Cannon and the century-old Broadmoor Hotel, and the west side, occupied by eateries and shops in what was the old Victorian center of the 1890s gold rush. Despite the sprawl, people regularly stop to say hello to someone they know at their neighborhood brewery or grocery store. That's the small town scene the city aims to preserve. What's the cost of living in Colorado Springs, Colorado? Housing prices in Colorado Springs are higher than the national average and continue to climb. El Paso County, of which Colorado Springs is the county seat, is among the state's fastest-growing counties. This population growth, combined with a limited supply of homes for sale, has created a competitive market for homebuyers. However, property taxes in Colorado are among the lowest in the nation. Colorado Springs is also attracting people who want an affordable alternative to the more expensive Denver area. Healthcare, utilities and transportation costs are generally lower in Colorado Springs, the state's second-largest city, than the average for the Centennial State. Number 8. Charlotte, North Carolina. A charming yet sprawling southern city, Charlotte is a pleasant urban area nestled in the Piedmont region of North Carolina within a few hours' drive of both the Appalachian Mountains and North Carolina's white sand beaches. 
The city has a strong economic identity, it's the second largest banking hub in the US behind New York City, that's helped drive consistent population growth for decades. Charlotte takes pride in its cityscape, defined by a handful of skyscrapers. But the city's essence is perhaps better captured in its diverse neighborhoods and suburban areas, each of which has its own style and flair. Although its economy and rapid development make Charlotte a thoroughly 21st century metro area, southern charm is still very much alive, and making friends with neighbors isn't the Sisyphean task it can be in other large cities. Its geographical location, generally temperate weather, relative affordability and local culture are all draws to the Queen City. Pro sports representation in the NBA and NFL give residents something to root for, while museums, parks and an exploding brewery scene offer more diversions for people with varying interests. One thing Charlottians may take for granted is the city's cleanliness. There's a certain pride residents take in their city, and even the downtown area is more well-kept and freer from trash and graffiti than visitors might expect. What's the cost of living in Charlotte, North Carolina? The city's real estate market has appreciated in recent years, and home prices hover above the national median. Rent prices have also been trending higher but are in the range of the national average. Property taxes are also reasonable, while North Carolina state taxes are roughly middle of the pack. All in all, Charlotte offers a better value than some similarly sized metro areas when comparing housing costs with median household income. Number 7. Portland, Maine. For the people of Maine, there is only one Portland. Maine's largest metro area and economic hub features cobblestone streets and ships sheltered within the island spec waters of Casco Bay. Artful living and farm to table dining are not just trends in Portland, they have been a way of life for years. A do it yourself spirit resonates throughout the region, so don't be surprised if a neighbor offers you extra produce from a community garden, home brewed beer, or knitting tips. All around Portland, you'll find dozens of local entrepreneurs offering homegrown or homemade products, from mittens to coffee. Locals refer to Portland's downtown and adjacent urban and commercial neighborhoods, which sit on an area that juts into Casco Bay, as the peninsula, while more heavily residential communities extend to the west and north from the Back Cove, a rounded sea cove formed by the peninsula. Those seeking an island lifestyle call the metro areas residential islands east of the peninsula home. Though more people discover its charms, Portland is at a crossroads on moving forward. The new development is often met with opposition, while demand for affordable housing is high. An aging rental and housing stock combined with a tight market on mid-tier units have left middle-income earners struggling to settle in Portland. What's the cost of living in Portland, Maine? Public officials and residents are increasingly concerned about Portland's affordability because Portland's housing costs are rising steadily. Given the high cost of living, the region has a sizable homeless population, some members of which came to the metro area from elsewhere to benefit from regional social services. Number 6. Naples, Florida. Nestled between the edges of the Everglades and the shores of the Gulf of Mexico sits Collier County, home to Naples, Immokalee and Marco Island, as well as a range of distinctly Florida flavors. Long known as a preferred retirement spot for the rich, powerful, and cultivars, the Greater Naples and Marco Island area supplies pristine beaches, sprawling golf courses, and fine dining and shopping. Closer to the area's rural interior, meanwhile, cattle graze and seasonal workers pick tomatoes in the fields around Immokalee, a farming community an hour's drive outside of Naples. Although geared more toward the older demographic that tends to settle in the Naples and Marco Island area, the two beachside communities are located just more than a two-hour drive from bustling cities including Tampa and Miami. Much of the greater Naples and Marco Island area is subject to a seasonal ebb and flow as residents from cold-weather states, often called snowbirds, flock to the region during the winter months to enjoy Florida's seemingly endless supply of sunshine and warm weather. Those seasonal residents leave their second homes in Naples and Marco Island as the sweltering summer months approach. But proximity to the beach, loads of sunshine and no state income tax come with drawbacks. Continued growth and development are exacerbating a lack of affordable homes, especially in the greater Naples and Marco Island area. And traffic, although nowhere near the level seen in larger Florida metro areas, tends to choke roadways in the urban area during the winter months. What's the cost of living in Naples, Florida? With generally high property values, local municipalities in the area largely rely on property taxes as a primary revenue source. 
Those taxes vary depending on whether residents live in the county's two cities, Naples and Marco Island, or Collier's unincorporated area, which includes Immokalee. Florida does not have a state income tax. And in Naples, Marco Island and Immokalee, like elsewhere in the state, residents can take advantage of a so-called homestead exemption. If someone owns property and makes it his or her permanent residence or the permanent home of his or her dependent, the property owner may be eligible to receive an exemption that would decrease the property's taxable value. Number 5. Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota has a distinct vibe that's different from Florida's relative coastal cities, with its own vibrant art scene, beachy atmosphere, and burgeoning food culture. People who choose Sarasota as their home are generally called by its unique charm. This metro area of just over 800,000 people has a renowned opera house, a number of rooftop bars and the popular beach of Siesta Key. What makes the region special is its duality, downtown Sarasota boasts resorts and fine dining, but strolling Siesta Key Village or St. Armand's Circle offers a more intimate, seaside ambience. There was once a time when Sarasota was dismissed as a playground for retirees, but that reputation is slowly changing as more young professionals begin to make it their own. One of the city's up-and-coming neighborhoods is the Rosemary District, where eclectic murals decorate storefronts and modern condominiums and hotels sit near casual breakfast cafes. What's the cost of living in Sarasota, Florida? Sarasota's popularity with both the over 65 and under 65 sets means rising home prices, and many people who want to live here are priced out. For a metro area of its size, Sarasota is not a cheap place to live. In fact, average rental prices for an apartment are even slightly higher in Sarasota than in nearby metropolitan areas like St. Petersburg and Tampa. In Sarasota, residents pay a combination of local property taxes from the county, city, and school districts. Florida is one of a few states that do not have a state income tax, but many residents say that is offset by the state's high property taxes. Number 4. Boulder, Colorado. Snug against the foothills where the Great Plains give rise to the Rocky Mountains, Boulder is nothing if not a looker. This city reveals its spectacle at the crest of a hill on US Route 36 from Denver with its iconic sandstone slabs rising from the mountains, prefaced by pine-clad mesas and cradled within the backdrop of the snow-capped Indian peaks. For residents seeking wellness, Boulder has opportunities from forest bathing and free meditation sessions to an abundance of marijuana dispensaries, spas and alternative healthcare studios. The full spectrum of yoga disciplines is represented here, as well as a plethora of fitness options to ignite your curiosity, including parkour, aerial dance and animal flow ground-based movement classes. People looking to bring balance to their work life can find job perks that include participation in the city's annual Tube to Work Day, had it with the 9 to 5? Make like boulders dirtbag climbers and live in a van, work odd jobs and become a fixture at the area's legendary crags. This blissed-out enclave attracts young professionals, families, academics, scientists, transplants from both coasts, old guards who insist it was way cooler in the 1970s and, above all, lovers of outdoor recreation. Trail runners, hikers, climbers, cyclists and more move here to live in this perpetual playground, where the answer to what do you do is often one's activity of choice, not occupation. What's the cost of living in Boulder, Colorado? Living in the Boulder bubble, as it's sometimes called, comes at a steep price. A halo of open space and rural land surrounds the city, limiting the amount of new housing construction and driving up prices for existing homes. Establishing more affordable housing options is an ongoing topic among city leaders and advocates as Boulder and other metro areas in the Front Range urban corridor abutting the mountains receive an influx of new residents. Boulder's combined rate of state, county and city sales taxes is quite high, as are median property taxes. Number 3. Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina. Raleigh, Durham and Chapel Hill are known for their research-slash-technology roots and collegiate rivalries. This tri-city region, known as the Triangle, is luring new residents every day with strong job growth and high quality of life. Many people who call the Raleigh and Durham metro areas home are young, friendly, diverse, and educated. They enjoy dining out in local restaurants, many of which have earned national accolades, and gathering over craft beers in one of the region's many microbreweries. A strong sense of community is evident, as strangers are quick to provide a friendly conversation when standing in line at the supermarket. 
Raleigh, Durham and Chapel Hill also encompass beautiful green spaces, family-friendly museums and a growing art and music scene defined by monthly gallery walks, summer concerts and music festivals like Hopscotch. What's the cost of living in Raleigh and Durham, North Carolina? The cost of living in the Raleigh and Durham areas is roughly on par with the national average, with home prices climbing significantly over the past few years. Housing costs will continue to rise as more people flock to the area in search of a career. However, relatively low property taxes make homeownership here easier than in some other major cities. Compared with other technology and research hubs like San Francisco, the North Carolina Research Triangle is relatively affordable. Number 2. Huntsville, Alabama. Once a sleepy farming town, Huntsville gained national recognition during the space race of the 1960s and is now consistently among the fastest growing metro areas in Alabama. In the past, the U.S. government relocated a team of German rocket scientists to the area and opened a NASA center that would design the Saturn V, the rocket that sent Apollo astronauts to the moon. Today, Huntsville residents pride themselves on being a nerdy bunch. The metro area has the most educated population in the state, and a large portion of the population works in engineering and defense thanks to the large presence of NASA and the U.S. Army's Redstone Arsenal. Huntsville City Center has undergone a renaissance in recent years. An outbreak of new construction downtown means more shopping, dining and apartment options are available. Just west of downtown, a defunct cotton mill became a bustling arts center, and craft breweries, restaurants and an axe-throwing venue have sprung up in a renovated old middle school. What's the cost of living in Huntsville, Alabama? Though the cost of living in Huntsville is higher than the state average, residents tend to pay less to live here than those who live in other major metro areas around the country. This is due in large part to lower housing costs. Huntsville residents pay roughly the same as the average American for utilities and groceries, slightly less for transportation, and slightly more for health care. Number 1. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Home to one of the most storied football franchises in the NFL, the Green Bay Packers, Green Bay has the perfect mix of big city amenities complemented with a Midwestern, small-town feel. This city boasts a thriving entertainment and art scene, revitalized downtown, and two college campuses, creating an energy that may appeal to young families as well as retirees. Green Bay is located in the heart of northeast Wisconsin and is the state's oldest settlement. The city's heart is at the mouth of the Fox River, and its access to the Great Lakes allowed early settlers to use the area's waterways to become successful entrepreneurs. While the city continues to be a major shipping center, summertime on the Fox River is alive with water skiing, riverfront dining and sunset cruises. The Fox River State Trail, a wooded walking and biking trail that runs parallel with the river, is a prominent section of the Selcom Green Bay Marathon. You can find boutique shopping in numerous museums throughout the city and surrounding areas. Downtown Green Bay, the Broadway District, downtown De Pere and Vickery Village just north of Green Bay feature shops with antiques, home decor and trendy clothing. A thriving craft beer industry, an array of restaurant options and its proximity to weekend getaway destination Door County make Green Bay a good place to settle down and stay. What's the cost of living in Green Bay, Wisconsin? A low cost of living in Green Bay is one of its advantages, and a house here costs less than the national median. However, Wisconsin does have high property tax rates. Residents here also pay sales tax and state income tax. So, which are your favorite cities among the top 10 best cities to live in the United States in 2024? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button to receive more content like this. Post your favorite cities among the top 10 best cities to live in the United States in 2024 in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.